You have to be comfortable hating your work. You have to really, really, really get comfortable looking back at the things you've done and saying they're garbage. I could have done so much better. Okay, let me explain. So if you're in any kind of creative field, if you're a designer, if you are in video or advertising or marketing, or if you're running a business that requires any level of creativity, you are gonna be super obsessed. You're gonna be super excited about what you are working on today because you're gonna use that energy and that creativity and that passion to drive your work today. And then you're gonna work on it and work on it and work on it. You're gonna put a little bow on it and you're gonna send it out to the world. And you're gonna think it's the greatest thing you've ever done. At least I hope for you that you think it's the greatest thing that you've ever done. And then time will go on and you'll think about the next thing and you'll think about the next project. And then you're gonna look back at that thing that you did you know, four or five or six weeks ago and you're gonna think, yeah, it's okay because now you're excited about the next thing. Right? The next thing is the greatest thing that you've ever done. You know, I've listened to people who run magazine publications. Every month, they are challenged to turn out new work, you know, 12 months per year, year after year after year. And if they don't think that they're putting out the greatest magazine that they've ever created, what is the point? What is the point? If they don't think that they're beating, that tomorrow can be better than today, that they're always striving to beat what they've done in the past, what is the point? You don't wanna find yourself in two or three years looking back and saying, wow, three years ago I was awesome. Three years ago was the pinnacle of, of what I can do. Three years ago we had a great team. If you find yourself in that situation right now, you better use that as a wake-up call to kickstart the next three years, to look at how you can not only reclaim what you were three years ago, but even leapfrog that and get even better. So the reason I say you have to get comfortable hating your work is because if you don't look back and think, I can do better today, then what is driving you to compete against yourself and to constantly push and strive and get better? Now, don't worry. Like if, if you're not there yet, that's okay. This comes with time. This comes with experience. This comes with a certain level of like uh, business maturity. But what I'm suggesting is that you gotta get comfortable hating the stuff you've done in the past and then use that to fuel and push you into the next step, into what you are going to do next. Okay, so here are three quick tips you can use to ensure that whatever you're looking at in the past and whatever you're looking into in the future is gonna make the most of it. Okay, number one, know that you are on a journey to always getting better. Get comfortable knowing that Tomorrow, you're gonna to be better than today. You're gonna to learn, you're gonna try new things, you're gonna progress. Just get comfortable with that. Because if you are living in, in this journey that you're moving on, and not just these little uh, blips and blops, is that even a word? These little things in your life that are just randomly happening, you are on a journey to progressing, to getting better, to doing your work even better. Know that you're on that journey. Celebrate the effort that you're putting into it and get comfortable with it. That should free you. Number two, look back at your work and remember the moment in time and what you knew then. Celebrate the wins, be proud of what you've done, but don't be so proud and so caught up in your past work that you can't push yourself to get better. You're on that journey, you are gonna get better. So look back and say, that was pretty awesome. I know I can crush it next time. If I had the same client, if I had the same opportunity, I would do everything the same except I would take it even to the next level. And number three, have a forward view. You can look back, listen, I'm sentimental, I'm romantic, I think of high school. I love thinking about 10 years ago and the team that I had. I wish certain people were still working with me that aren't. I'm super sentimental, but you have to look forward. Don't spend too much time looking into the past. What's next? What's next? Ask yourself that. I have this opportunity in front of me. How can I make the most of it? How can I do a better version of what I did last year or last month or yesterday? Okay, so those are three quick tips. I want you to tell me what you think of this topic. Do you spend a lot of time looking into the past? Are you comfortable looking back and hating the work you've done because you know that you can crush it next time? And of course, like always, remember that you have to think big, be bold, and say yes. Yeah, that's the inspiration point. Okay, so what's um, so what what is the topic? 